Hi there campers, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. We are officially back in running mode. It's 10.48 hours on Tuesday, October 20th, 2015. And by looking up there you can see the switches are still down as we wait patiently for consumers to stop sucking for a minute and hook us back up. So we begin the day by putting away everything from Comic-Con so we're just tidying and that's the excitement of the morning. That's going to be the first demo I make a new version of, because it's the simplest. And it's one of the most popular. Yeah. Excellent. Almost had to make a new one tomorrow. I would be so heartbroken. <laughs> I've had dreams of that sound. The new version won't be as bad. I'm going to steal balls. Hey, Internet! I need a source for four inch diameter stainless steel balls. Good stainless. Okay, because you can get crappy stainless that'll actually rust. Can't have that. It's got to be good stainless, preferably polished, hardened, solid, and bonus points if I can find a place that can drill them before they get hardened. Because I, I need them drilled. So let me know what you can find. KC? who is totally not paying attention to me right now, um, but watches the blog, see what you can dig up. 300 series. Oh yeah, but what I want is, I want to get them drilled, two holes, drilled and tapped, quarter 20, at 90 degrees from each other, and I need four inch steel, stainless, solid, hardened balls. It's not. So it's, I know it can be done, I know it's not going to be easy, or cheap. Exactly. But I fully expect to pay like a hundred bucks a piece for the balls, which is about right. Yeah. So we need balls. We're gonna make a really good. This is small scale Newton's cradle. It's only four inch balls, but we do it right to last forever. So let's spend the money, do it right, show quality. We're gonna make a beautiful Newton's cradle. So you guys can help out on that. I'll be back. to see one of these up close. So I had to cruise out to Zealand to pick up a couple air reels. And I'm driving and I saw this and I was like, far out! You know what the only thing cooler than windmill is? Two windmills. Only one of them is moving though. That thing's hauling ass. It's really windy, so I think the safest place to be is directly under the rotor. makes a lot of noise too. Like there's a lot of stuff going on in here. That is so cool. There's one just hanging out. So I think these are generating electricity. Not 100%. I think they're generating electricity. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can comment. Tell me about it. I'm in, well, I'm just outside of Zealand. I'm next to the water tower, the blue water tower. It says Holland Township. So. Tell me the story on the windmills. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. I think it's doing electricity. And it looks like it has something to do with like... Well, at first I thought there was a high school here, but it's just a park. Teach me about windmills at this scale. I didn't know they made big windmills that were this small. That might be something we could get like at the lab. 
and it'd be really cool if we could have something like that at the lab. That'd just be awesome. So let me know. Thanks. I'll be back. So it's been a day of fun in regards to consumers. We had the live stream camera on the pole since before dawn. Like when when I started my day, I, I got on the live stream at like 7:30 this morning. I was like, point the camera at the because I, I I got sick of running down and looking at the pole. So I'm like. You have a camera up there, so there's a point the camera thing. And you see a stick come up and boop, cool. So then we find out that we have to pay consumers even more. So we did. And then when Moose was there, paying consumers even more, they said, you've zeroed your entire bill, you're good. And now if you'll just sort out the deposit, we'll have you turned down in 48 hours. He wanted an $18,000 deposit, just as a surprise. Because fuck you, we're consumers, we're a monopoly, what are you going to do? It turns out that the guy that they've carved chunks out of his brain was the smartest person in the building today, and said, you should call these people. And we did, because what you didn't know is Moose already had a relationship with them, and his friends with them. When, who was the guy at YouTube? President of Business Services. President of Business Services. So when you have the state attorney general call the president of business services, I don't know what he said. But I know that the power will be turned on first thing in the morning, and there is no deposit. Yay. So our government at work for us, and Brian went to cookie. <laughs> so, <laughs> Why so, not all? <laughs> the power will be on first thing in the morning, if not before then. I would not be surprised if somebody from consumers like pulls up in five minutes, like, sorry. We were dead. You think? <laughs> yeah. So concomitant to all of this. The IRC is actively working right now, and any of you who are interested are welcome to get in on the fun. We are starting immediately, because this has been something we have a lot of experience with, because we've already started this project. When we first got the building, day one, we turned the power on, and the second thing we did was call the fire department, because shit started smoking, because of the old 50s vintage fluorescent lights, the old T12s. Mm. And those of you who've been around long enough remember the epic process of replacing every light in the building with modern day fluorescents. They've worked great for years, cool, we certainly got our money's worth out of it, it radically improved the build. Since then, because back then we looked at fluorescent or looked at LEDs, but the technology was very young and ungodly expensive. It would have cost us like 500 bucks a light to replace everything with LEDs. Today, for $300 a light, and that's only for the big high bays in, in like the MDH and the studios, we can replace everything and go from fluorescence to LEDs, which will cut our electric bill down like order of magnitude because the biggest things we use electricity for are heating, cooling, and light. Mostly cooling, not so much the heating. Though we do use a lot of electricity for the heating part because the, the big blowers use a lot of energy. But we are going to, the ultimate goal here is, step one, radically increase our energy efficiency in the building. Step two, get off of the fucking national power grid so that we don't have to deal with consumers because the absolute place we want to be is in a fuck you position with consumers' power. So that's what we're going for. And every opportunity we have to shit on them publicly, we certainly will, but that doesn't really do any good. The best thing we can do is make this building radiantly green. So we have some really cool resources for this. We have a large amount of roof space, which can go photovoltaic. We have a large amount of ground space, like the parking lot, which can go photovoltaic. You can build a structure above that, park cars under it, put solar cells above it, because it's just wasted airspace. We don't own just the ground, we own the air above it, at least to 400 feet. And <laughs> after that it gets sketchy. We also, if you've ever been down in the aeronautics lab and been bored one day or popped the hatch in the aeronautics lab, the big brown hatch, 
If you sit in, if you go to your nightclub right now and just sit still for 15 minutes, you will hear the demon bong hit. Just about every 15 minutes, you're. That's the big pump, the sump pump, under the aeronautics lab, which is pumping out about 10 gallons of water every 10, 15 minutes. It's because our building sits on a very high water table, and the water is cold. Water is always cold. The water is 53 degrees. Every day, year-round, never changes. If you're really curious as to why, SKC, he's forgotten more about this than any of us will ever know, and I'm sure would love to talk at you about it for a good three or four solid hours. He can also teach you that the solution to pollution is dilution. But because the water is always 53 degrees, this means we can use this water to heat this building. I know it sounds really weird, but you actually can heat this building to a comfortable 68 degrees from 50 degree water. It can be done. It's actually pretty easy. There's science involved. It's really cool. We can also use this water not, as, not only as a heat source, but as a heat sink. So we can cool this building with this water. That's even easier. So we're going to look at a heat pump technology. I've never seen a heat pump used on the scale of this building. They're really common for houses. And it's one of those things that's really expensive to do, and then really, really cheap to have. Kind of like an easy. You spend all your money up front. But things like that. Um, I took a cruise out to Zealand today. One of you might be able to help on this. And when I was in Zealand, I took the, the back way home because I used to drive that way to school all the time. I've never done it in years. I just did. And there was something new on the landscape. Now, we're all familiar with windmills, like the big wind turbines with like 100 foot blades on it. There's a pair of wind turbines in Holland Township. There's a water tower. It's blue. And it looks, you know, it's the whoop, water towers like popsicle. And it says Holland Township on the side. It's next, it's next to a park, and it's just off 96th Street. There's two wind turbines there. And these wind turbines, instead of being what you're expecting, the blades on these things are only like 20 feet. The towers are only like 60 feet high. And the base of the tower is about the size of that table. So they take up no ground space. And I'm sure we'd have to get variants and like play some games with the city and get all kinds of fun things. Huh? Good yeah, we're good at paperwork. But I want to see if we could get one or two of these because A, science, engineering, cool, awesome, green, warm, fuzzy, lead, and turbine, and off the national power grid. What? You said it was on 96th Street? Yeah, I think it's on 96th Street. Anywhere it's the, near, anywhere? the main drag that turns into state as you go into Zealand. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, anywhere near. Um, Wiley? I don't know. Just north of Zealand, and it's on the left. Like, as you're driving, you oh, shit, wind turbines. And you just turn, and they're right there. Okay, they're because the high school at um, 96 and Wiley, they, like, just after I graduated, they added uh, a couple of wind turbines, and maybe they expanded, I don't know. Might be. This, there was a park and a bunch of, like, apartments. Okay. And, but the, the landmark was the Holland Township Water Tower, which is really easy to find on Google Maps, I'm sure. But what I want to know is, who makes these wind turbines? What do they cost? What do they generate? Because there were two of them there. One of them was off, like it was breaked out. And the other one was going like hell, because farm fields. And we get a fair amount of wind here. I'm sure we don't get enough to like power the whole building. But <clears throat> this is the kind of thing where grants exist to fund exactly this kind of thing for exactly our kind of organization. And if we could get to a place where through a common, because we can't get enough solar to do the whole lab, we can't get enough wind to do the whole lab, we can't get enough geothermal to do the whole lab, but if we start adding all these things together and radically increase our energy efficiency, and, 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 we do every single thing we can, it's possible that we can get this building off the national power grid, which is where we want to be. And I'd be fine with a grid tie system. I'd be happier with a gen tie system where we, because we have a buddy who is trying right now to give us a 600 kVA generator that's at 480 and not 208. And we can't run the building off a generator like all night and stuff like that. We can't. It's illegal because of noise laws and stuff like that. And ungodly expensive. But if we had all this stuff, and some really awesome Tesla batteries because Tesla's doing the, the I think it's called the power wall, but the Tesla batteries. And I've already looked into that really heavily because that is absolutely a thing going in my house.
but if we put all this technology together, because we're nerds, this is possible. And this is the kind of thing where we raise a pile of money, we do a lot of grants, we do a lot of really cool research stuff on this, we do a lot of videos on this, and we become a shining, shining show pony of awesomeness for getting a city block off the MPG, which is where we want to go. So, but that's what happened today, and the power will be on tomorrow, in heat at any moment. And now that we've done this, all of you, this is entirely a voluntary thing, but if you don't do it, I'll have to kill you. I'm sorry. Um, all of you get to sign the thank you card. Because people jumped up and saved our ass today. So, yeah. So that's what's up.